At this stage I have um, set up the feather patterns on the owl uh, using uh, darks and lights. Um, the warm white is going to be the undercoating for several washes of various warm colors that I have mixed using burnt sienna and yellow oxide. I've got um, three different uh, mixtures of it for various colors from a red orange to a yellow orange and using my uh, Royal Langenickel Filbert um, I'm going to just use really thin washes you can see how thin that is on my palette and I'm gonna take a little excess off of the brush and I'm going to just tint the upper areas of these tertial secondary feathers of the wing. Now you can see I got a little bit more water than I want, but just go back to your paper towel. It's just really thin washes over those whites that I laid in. Come back. Get a little bit more paint. Make sure it's... Make it a little thicker this time. So that I just come back and do one stroke of tint in the areas that I want to change the color on. Again, you don't have to be real careful. Just touch the areas that you want. The color on the feathers of the wing is white at the tip, and as you go up, it's got the, the colorations of the oranges and reds. So I'm just touching the top to create some variance in color here. You can see the nice change I've got. 